بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The term accountability is defined as the obligation to explain, justify, and take responsibility for one's actions. It's an important concept that is relevant to every aspect of our individual and collective lives. As students, as parents, as spouses, as employees, as executives, as community leaders, as politicians, we're always expected to account for our actions, to explain why we do things. And it's an important part of our everyday life. Similarly, when it comes to our religious and spiritual obligations, accountability is an important concept. We know that God created us, He placed us on this earth, and there will come a time where God will hold us to account for our time on this earth. Thus, the belief in accountability, the day of accountability, or the day of judgment, is integral to our belief system. It ensures that we understand our obligations in this life and that we are prepared to answer and to justify for our time in this life. It's important also, our religious teachings tell us, that in addition to this idea of accountability by God, that it's important for us to engage in self-accountability. The famous hadith says, حَاسِبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَن تُحَاسَبُوا وَزِنُوهَا قَبْلَ أَن تُزِنُوا Hold yourselves to account before you are held to account and weigh your deeds, weigh yourselves before they are weighed. We are encouraged to constantly engage in self-accountability. This life is a life of action, a life in which we work and not necessarily are held to account. The hadith says, Al-yawma amalun wa la hisab. Today, or this life, is a time of action and no accountability. And the next life is a time of accountability with no opportunity for action. So we're encouraged to engage in self-accountability. Sometimes we may find ourselves asking, where do I stand with God? Is God accepting my acts of worship? Does my record of good deeds outweigh my record of bad deeds? Sometimes we may find ourselves asking and wondering. Well, one efficient way to guarantee our understanding of where we stand is to engage in self-accountability. Muhasabatun nafs. To hold ourselves to account. And we are encouraged to do so on a daily basis. That way, we know exactly where we stand. Self-accountability may not be something that many of us are very comfortable with. We may not be happy with the results of our self-accountability. But if we engage in this process of self-accountability, we have a very clear picture of where we stand. We're able to realize where our strengths are and where our weaknesses are. I read a story once about a young man who worked as a landscaper. This young man walked into a shop one day and asked the shop owner if he could use his telephone. The shop owner agreed. So the man went and he picked up the phone and he dialed the number. On the other end of the line, a woman picked up the phone. The young man asked the woman if she needed a landscaper for her home. The woman replied that she had already employed a landscaper. The young man told her that he would be willing to do all of the work that her landscaper does, but for half of the price. The woman respectfully declined and she said, you know, I'm already happy with the work that's being done. The young man insisted. He told her, he offered that he would do even more work. Again, the woman respectfully declined. She told him that she was very comfortable with her current landscaper. Finally, the young man thanked her and he hung up the phone. The shopkeeper was watching this whole thing and he was amazed at this young man. He turned to him and he said, you know, you seem like you're a very diligent young man. You're a hard worker. I would be happy to offer you a job to work with me here in the shop. The young man, he smiled 
and he respectfully declined. And he explained to the shopkeeper that he was already employed as a landscaper. In fact, he worked for the woman whom he called, but that he was just calling in order to verify his own work, to make sure that he was on the right track. And it sounded like he was doing a great job. Self-accountability is important, dear friends. It allows us to have a very clear picture of where we are and where we need to be. And this is why we are encouraged to engage in daily self-accountability, to take stock of ourselves. Every day, spend some time in the morning, in the evening, and ask yourself, what did I do today? Where am I with regards to my actions, to where I am and where I need to be? And through self-accountability, we can have a better picture of our strengths and weaknesses, what we're doing well and what we need to work on. In this way, if we engage in self-accountability, then we will be amongst those whom the Qur'an describes as having لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون That on the day of judgment, they shall have no fear and nothing to worry about. I pray that God gives us all the capacity, the capability to engage in daily self-accountability and to continue to progress further. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.